In this lesson I will talk a little bit about the mammillary body, about the fornix and the corpus callosum and the lateral ventricle. The mammillary body are the small round bodies. They are part of the diencephalon and they form part of the limbic system. Then comes the fornix. Fornix is a C-shaped bundle of fibers. This is the anterior pillar of fornix. These over here were the mammillary bodies and then fornix 1, fornix 2. The part where your fornix join and over here is called the body of fornix. Then comes the cross fornix and the fimbriae. So this was the cross and this was the fimbriae. Now think about it, it all goes all the way around. We said that the fornix is a bundle of nerve fibers, and fibers go in this direction. They transfer the information from the hippocampus over here towards the hypothalamus through the mammillary bodies over here. So it takes the information from the hippocampus and takes it to the mammillary bodies and then to the hypothalamus. Actually, many neuroanatomists count mammillary body also as a part of hypothalamus. Same on the other side. Then I illustrated the corpus callosum. It is the biggest commissure in our brain. The commissure connects two sides of the brain, two hemispheres. And here is the sagittal slice. So we made a cut here. Here is the anterior commissure. It also connects certain parts of two hemispheres. It is divided in more parts. I will talk about it in other videos. And here is the septum pellucidum. The septum pellucidum is the membrane that separates two lateral ventricles, the left one and right one. So this space over here is called the lateral ventricle. I will talk about it later when I draw other stuff in this image. The posterior portion of corpus callosum is spleeny. The middle portion over here is the body. The most anterior part of corpus callosum over here is called the genu. It means the knee. This part over here that projects inferior and posterior is called the rostrum. Then we have the left hemisphere with a temporal lobe over here and the occipital parietal lobes over there. And then here is the inferior horn of the lateral ventricle. The lateral ventricle is the space filled with cere cerebrospinal fluid. This over here is the bulb of posterior horn. And this over here is the calcar avis. It is the involution made by the calcar and fissure. And this over here is the collateral eminence. It is made by the collateral fissure underneath. So imagine if below that there is a fissure like this and then it simply makes the eminence inside of lateral ventricle and this over here th this over here is the eminence the collateral eminence and then I illustrated the right hemisphere with the cingulate sulcus over here and the cingulate gyrus over here here we can see already many parts of limbic system as for example hippocampus, the septum pellucidum, the fornix, and according to Terminologia Anatomica, the international standard on human anatomic terminology, the cingulate sulcus and the cingulate gyrus also count to the limbic system. They are part of the limbic cortex. To learn more about the limbic system and all its parts, please check out my videos and visit my website flashbrainanatomy.com. Now let's write this all down. This over here was the corpus callosum. This over here was the septum pellucidum. This was the anterior commissure. These two bodies were the mammillary bodies. Then we had the fornix, then the hippocampus over here. We had the lateral ventricle, 
this space over here. This is the lateral ventricle. We have opened the lateral ventricle, that's why we can see what's inside. This was the collateral eminence. This was the calcar avis. It's made by the it's made by the calcar and fissure from the outside. And this over here is the bulb of posterior horn. Then we had the cingulate sulcus. And we had the cingulate gyrus. This part over here was genu of the corpus callosum, which means the knee. It's the most anterior part. This part over here was the rostrum. This was the body of corpus callosum. And this over here was splenium of corpus callosum. And our parts of fornix, we had the fimbria over here. It's a small thin layer of fibers that leave the hippocampus. Then we had the cross over here, cross of fornix. Then the part where the fornix from both sides join is called the body. And here, are the anterior pillars of fornix.